podcast. I'm lead anchor Robert Dobbs. And in here is your news this evening. Reverend Vanetta Lewis is hoping she can meet her goal for the second annual No Child Home Alone for Christmas, a gift drive for children in car- of incarcerated parents or parents killed in what she says is senseless violence. Last year, they gave away 300 gifts. This year, their goal is 1,000. But Reverend Lewis says she is about 500 gifts short right now. She wants to give them out in just eight days. She says her group, Keeping Every Vision Alive, can accept money to buy gifts for kids, but she says there's something even better. They can pick up the gifts. That's what we'd really like them to do. Pick up gifts and drop them off at the Jefferson Street Baptist Church, she said. Reverend Lewis admits hers is a big goal, but she says children who have already been through so much are worth it. If you'd like to donate, you can drop off gifts at the Jefferson Street Missionary Baptist Church at 2708 Jefferson Street in Nashville from Tuesday to Thursday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., or call 615-237-1110. The gifts will be given away on December 18th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Several other organizations are also collecting presents for kids this year. Youth Villages is handing out gifts of 2,500 children who have experienced trauma, abuse, or neglect. It still needs gifts for about 150 kids. The deadline to shop and deliver items is Monday, December 13th. The Mason Strong Toy Drive is collecting toys through December 11th. Mason Biddick was born with a birth defect of his abdominal wall. He is, he's been getting treatment at TriStar Centennial Children's Hospital. You can donate gifts on December 11th from 5.30 p.m. until 8 p.m. at 753 Eldon Lane in Nolensville. That is Mason's grandparents' home. The gifts need to be unwrapped and unopened. And you can find their Amazon wish list on newschannel5.com. And in other news, severe overnight storms caused widespread damage in Middle Tennessee. West and Middle Tennessee were hit by two lines of severe weather Friday night and into Saturday morning. The State Emergency Operations Center is activated at a level three state of emergency. The line of storms caused damage across five states and left at least 50 people dead in Mayfield, Kentucky. Three people in West Tennessee were killed and in the first storm wave of that night. The Tennessee Emergency Management Agency said two people died in Lake County and another in Obion County. The National Weather Service said this weather event set the record for the biggest tornado outbreak during the month of December in Tennessee's history. Numerous trees and power lines are down across the area. The storm also caused widespread power outages throughout the region. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir announced a Team Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund on Saturday to assist those impacted by deadly tornadoes that moved through Kentucky overnight on Friday. In a Saturday afternoon press conference, Bashir called the storm the worst, most devastating tornado event in Kentucky history. Bashir says President Biden has signed a federal disaster declaration for areas hit by the storms. If you would like to mail in a donation, you can make a check to Kentucky Finance and Administration Cabinet. In the memo line, please note that the donation is for the Team Western Kentucky Tornado Relief Fund. Send the checks to Kentucky Finance and Administration Cabinet, 200 Merrill Street, 5th Floor, Franklin, Kentucky, 40622. Additionally, Bashir encouraged people to give blood and ask people to stay out of hard-hit areas and leave the roads clear for first responders. And now let's get a check of your late evening forecast with Chief Meteorologist Laurente Barbie.